week 19 of the fantasy basketball season. And here's a few forwards I look to buy and trade for this week. The first forward, Chris Middleton of the Milwaukee Bucks. And Middleton, he's been out a while now with the ankle injury, but he's going to return any day now. And with the deadline being this week, if you want to take a shot on Middleton and get him on your roster, this will be the time to do it, obviously, because if he returns and starts putting numbers up where you don't have to give up much to get him on your team right now, that's going to be something that fantasy owners want to go back and do. So on the year, 14.8 points a game. 4.3 4.3 rebounds, 5 assists, 1.73s, and 48% from the field. So I know Middleton a few years ago in the championship run for the Bucks, He was clutching the playoffs, hitting big shots, putting up big stat lines. And the last couple of years, the numbers dropped off a little bit, but I believe he hasn't been 100% healthy as well. And now with Damian Willard over there in his first season in Milwaukee, he's going to take a little bit of a backseat in terms of touches and scoring the basketball. But right now, three-point shooting, scoring, I still think he could bring owners. And right now, while he's injured, like I said, he's at the lowest. His value's been his Middleton, and he should be back any game now for this Buck team of fantasy owners. So right now, if you want to go and put a decent offer out there for Middleton, I think a middle of the pack center, even a point guard like a Tyus Jones or something could get the deal done for Chris Middleton. So this week, he's a buy because once he returns and he could get things going, he can help fantasy owners in three or four categories. Next forward's Dylan Brooks of the Houston Rockets. So Dylan Brooks, he's been up and down this season in his first year we used. Still think he could contribute to fantasy owners and put up some good numbers on the year. 13.2 points a game, 3.6 rebounds, 1.7 assists, 1.9 threes, and 43% from the field. But the last few weeks, he's definitely hit a dry patch and and he's in a slump shooting the ball. 6.6 points a game, four rebounds, 1.9 assists, 1.3 threes, and 30% from the field here for Dylan Brooks. It's not like he's not getting his shot attempts and his touches is Brooks. He just way off and he can't hit anything. He's still playing 30, 35 minutes per game for this Rocket team. February 29th to Phoenix, six points, eight rebounds and assists to steal 27% from the field. March 2nd at Phoenix, 11 points, six boards, three assists, two steals, a block, two threes, 40% from the field. March 5th, first to Spurs, another bad game, no points, three boards, two assists, two steals. 0% from the field, so right now, he's not scoring the basketball, but he still could do other things for owners. Rebounding, steals, and assists, he's been pretty decent at, is Dylan Brooks. If he could get out of this shooting slump, I think he could be a decent forward for fantasy owners. And right now, to be honest, you don't even have to go out there and trade for him. He's still available on the waiver wire, as well, surprisingly, in 66% of fantasy leagues. So this week, you have to give up minimum, in my opinion, to get Brooks on your roster and the third and final forward. I look to buy and trade for is DeAndre Hunter of the Atlanta Hawks. So DeAndre Hunter, he's on the room, in my opinion, available in 49% of fantasy leagues. But he just goes out there and he scores the basketball. It's a solid six-man for this Atlanta Hawk team on the year. 15.4 points a game, 3.8 rebounds, 1.2 assists, two threes, and 48% from the field. But the last few weeks, his numbers have definitely bumped up 18.2 points a game. 3.7 rebounds, two threes, and 55% from the field. So with Trey Young out at least three, four more weeks for the Atlanta Hawk team, they need some scoring. And DeAndre Hunter's come off the bench, and he's done that for the Atlanta Hawk team. February 29th at Brooklyn, 12 points, a steal with three, 50% from the field. March 2nd at Brooklyn, 15 points, two boards and assists, four threes, 45% from the field. And March 5th at the Knicks, he had some big shots late in that one to put the ball game on ice. 22 points, three boards. A steal, 2 threes, 64% from the field. So he can hit the three balls, DeAndre Hunter. He's a pure scorer. I know he's not going to give you many other categories, rebounding and assists, but three-point shooting and scoring the basketball is where he's going to bring it for fantasy owners. And right now, just like Brooks, he's another guy. You just get off the waiver wire at 49% available or something you could trade for. And honestly, I don't think you got to give up much to get him. So that's a few forwards I look to buy and trade for. Forwards I look to buy and trade for with the deadline approaching for week 19 of the fantasy basketball season.